Can you see everything okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, what we're going to do here is make some gunpowder charges for small bore cannons. And this is how I do it. And uh, we use this uh, cannons at uh, the Renaissance Festival. And so I'm going to show you how I make charges to put in the gun that I can just make as many as I want ahead of time. And they're waterproof and should be okay to use anytime we want. So what I have here is... Uh, pill bottle measured out to about an ounce of powder, a paper tube, some tape, scissors, gunpowder, this is reenactor grade gunpowder, and sheets of aluminum foil, and a, a dowel rod to tamp with. Let me get that out of the way. So the first thing I'll do is cut this sheet in, uh, in half. And I only need half of it. And I'll roll it on the paper tube with a little bit sticking out so that I can tuck it into the tube when I'm done. Tuck it into the tube, and I'll use the dowel to tamp the part I tucked in flat. Pull the tube off, and I've got a nice aluminum piece prepared for charge. I'll take some gunpowder. General rule of thumb is about an ounce of powder for an inch of bore for a cannon. My cannon is an inch and seventy three quarters. I usually normally just use an ounce of powder because an ounce gives a satisfying boom. I don't need to put more than that in it just for shooting blanks. So, oh, here's another thing you need. These fold top sandwich bags. You don't want Ziploc bags. You want these old school thin plastic fold top bags. I'll pour my ounce of powder in there. Shake it into a corner. Twist up a bit. So I've got kind of a loose bag here. Put a piece of tape on it. just to hold it together right where I twisted it. Take that up, nip off the excess, and I'll take the charge, the gunpowder that's in the plastic bag, put it down into my aluminum foil tube and you could stop there if you wanted to, but I like to add a little flash to the, to the powder. So I will put a scoop of flour in there. Flour, when it's atomized, is very flammable. So this will make an uh, added fireball. It doesn't add any propellant the way the gunpowder does. It just makes a flash of, gun, of fire. So it makes an interesting addition to your charge. Then you twist it up, fold it over, and voila. There's a charge for my inch and three quarter cannon. And you can make this, I guess, for about any size you want. But for small cannons, this is a great low charge. It's waterproof. I can throw it in water. It's not going to matter. Um, and when you're using it, you'll ram it down into the, into, the, into the tube, put some wadding of some kind over it. We generally use like bread. And then you'll run a prick down through the barrel into the powder charge. Then you can insert a fuse down into that, and you're good to go.